what we need to do to create the explosion we need to add a P array we can go in over here and let us go no actually we'll go to our cre create button and we need to go to our particle systems and select P array and just go ahead and drag it in the top screen drag it over the text and you can see the little white box up here we'll move it up just a little bit that's right and I just wanna go ahead and move the screen back a little bit I'm also gonna hit G G takes the grid off I just wanna be able to look at this here a lot better so now that we have our PRA system we need to link it to Jazio right now you see nothing is going on over here but if we link this to Jazio we'll start seeing some action so now what we need to do to get this explosion action going we're actually gonna select our system over here come to our modifier window let me take this arrow off and we need a pick object pick object what we'll do is it will actually say what object are we trying to explode and you can actually come in over here you can eat you can click on this and you see it'll turn white or if you hit pick object hit H again and then you just hit text pick now if we scroll this you will see these little stars going but if we want to actually see the explosion fragments now, while we're still in our modifier window what we want to do is come up to particle type and do object fragments and then what we're gonna next we're going to go down to uh, not particle generation yes what we want to do is want to come over here and pick mesh so we actually see the mesh but you see is uh, what it's doing is exploding faces we don't want to explode the faces so we'll come again down to particle type and come down to number of chunks it makes a break in chunks and I'll use a number like 300 and that's what we have over here they're breaking up in these pieces Boom. All right. So if you hit play, you can kind of see your. Well, you oh, remember you also have to activate the window you want to see the explosion. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see this better. And just hit play. And see, it's flying all areas. You know, it just doesn't have a direction to go. Notice it's going through the floor as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up over here. We need to act, add a deflector for it to bounce, not go through the floor and whatnot. We will come over here to this part and go to deflectors I'm just saying this part because I don't know the names of these <laughs> so we choose deflector we'll just take a simple deflector come up in our top view and scroll out and just drag it over the floor area that's what we're gonna deflect so if we come in now it's still going through that's because we don't haven't linked anything yet so what we want to do is we go we can go to modifier and hit H again and choose the P array so we can link it to the deflector hit this link button over here and come up select by name and hit the deflector now see what just happened is now it doesn't go through the floor but we also need to add some gravity so it can actually look like it's dropping down too so we'll come in back over here and let's go to forces we'll add gravity and just go ahead and drag it over and the top screen will drag it in over here and let's move it to the side a little bit come back to the front and we'll raise this up a little bit here and then we need to add drag you can put that anywhere on the screen so we need to go ahead and link our PRA to both the drag and the gravity so once I showed you by hitting H to link that again you click this button and then you just drag it to that and you'll see it turn white you see this is the problem that you get when you're trying to do activate it through that way so we'll take this again and boom so now if we play this through you see it drops but it's bouncing around 
So we need to change, do some, a few little settings over here.